So CAN is a group of um, museum, art gallery, archival professionals who uh, got together about 40 years ago to create that sort of group and they work together to bring quality programming and experiences to Kingston um, across uh, multiple sites and sort of foster collaboration um, because they realized 40 years ago they would, would be better together than in competition and it's really served the Kingston community really well. I know um, as an emerging professional a couple years ago it was really beneficial to be able to come into Kingston and be greeted warmly by people from all, um, colleagues from all sorts of levels of experience and, and parts in their career. It was really um, at like a really great place to get started. Any other partnerships that you have? Yeah, we're uh, partners with the City of Kingston. Okay. Uh, they help uh, administer the City of Kingston Heritage Fund. Uh, Visit Kingston as well, the local tourism group, uh, the Frontenac Public Library as well, Kingston mm -hmm. Frontenac Public Library, and uh, Improbable Escapes. Of course. <laughs> we'll get to them in a minute. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Yes. So we thought it would be really cool to bring in more f another family outdoor activity um, because 2021 was digital, so people were going to be on their computer screens. Mm -hmm. We thought it would be a great way to get people out into the city um, and see the sites. You can't actually go in them. All of the clues will be affixed outside. Okay. But it would as a way just for people to get outside and do something together as a family or as a group of friends or whatever your social bubble was at that point in time. Okay, so when exactly is the mar this uh, Kingston Loves Museum scavenger hunt? It is July 17th and 18th. Ah, so it's a weekend event. It is. Oh, okay. And it only runs for the weekend. It's unlike other improbable escapes pro like programming where it's longer, ours is just that weekend. Just for the weekend. Uh, where will people be going to get some of the clues for this? We've got 11 sites. 11 sites? Involved, yes. So we're can really you excited. share with us what those sites will be? I guess I can. Uh, we've got Fort Henry. Mm -hmm. We've got the Military Communications and Electronics Museum. We have the Royal Military College Museum, the Arch specifically. Uh, we have the Frontenac County Schools Museum, the Marine Museum of, Kings, of Great Lakes, Bellevue House, Lower Burial Ground, Museum of Healthcare at Kingston, Murney Tower Museum National Historic Site, and then at the dig one of the digital components is Lennox and Addington Museum and Archives out in Napanee. Oh, so out to Napanee, but we don't have to go to Napanee to do it. How can people get involved with this? So people can go to Improbable Escapes website themselves. They mm -hmm. can go to the CAM Facebook or they can go to Improbable Escapes Facebook as well. The event page is up, I believe, on both of those sites. Uh, and you download the document that gives you the clues to take you around. As most of our viewers know, Improbable Escapes is a co private company in town. They're not really associated with, with CAM as a member or anything else like that. Why are they involved? Well, because they're, they're great. They're so great and they're local, uh, mm -hmm. but they also are involved with specific CAM member sites. So they do actually have a history working with museums. They've worked with Murney Tower Museum. They've worked with the Military Communications Electronics Museum, and I believe as well, the Pump House Museum. So how did you come up with the idea of Kingston loves museums? Because well, Kingston does love their museums. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content.